Dior royal family all at once ignored Meghan's olive branch. Sussex struggles and stuck in U.S. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Now that Dior and Bill Simmons have both openly spoken out against the delusional duo, Meghan's ship is sinking faster than the Titanic. They've used the silence of others these past years to get away with their manifesting bullshit, but they don't have that luxury anymore. Companies and people are starting to speak out, and none of it bodes well for Harry and Meghan. Prior to Simmons calling them a couple of fucking grifters, no one really said a damn thing, which enabled the Duchess of Delirium to manifest her way through life with few repercussions. However, now that the dam has broken, they're screwed. So, now what? Where does that leave them? What I believe will happen is that they'll try to manifest their way back into the British royal family. Now, I know how utterly ridiculous that sounds, considering how much vitriol the two of them have spewed, but never underestimate the determination of a desperate narc. No matter how much they've shit on you, humiliated you, thrown you under the bus, blamed you for their self-inflicted issues, and tried to drag you down to hell, if they feel you still serve a purpose and have something to offer them, they will be all over you. And right now, there is no one more desperate than Megan. At this point, they have nothing else left. All of their existing, verified deals have gone through. Everyone knows their poison. They have a huge mortgage and ridiculous living expenses. And she's addicted to the fame, adulation, and reverence she believes she deserves. The problem is, she can't afford that lifestyle anymore. And no one wants to touch them with a figurative 10-foot pole. Dior, an exclusive, world-class brand, was very quick to respond with a resounding nope, which opens the door for other companies and individuals to respond in a like manner. What better way to stay money adjacent than to crawl back to the family who has all the connections and status? Now, that's not to say the British royal family will take them back, but that won't stop her from trying. I'm willing to bet money that the next round of publicity will be the duo announcing that Charles has extended the olive branch. They'd be more than welcome back. They'd be so useful now that the number of working royals has been downsized. She'll be using the kids to tug on King Charles's heartstrings because this is how a narc's mind works. No matter how bad they've treated you, they will expect you to act like nothing ever happened, with no exceptions. If they feel you should let bygones be bygones, then you have no business dredging up the past or calling them on their shit. And we all know that if there's one thing Megan is actually good at, it's playing the innocent victim. At this point, Megan is probably setting the stage in her mind, thinking of all the events and garden parties she can attend, all the designer dresses she can wear, all the photos that will be displayed in prominent publications, etc. And she believes no one will stand against them because the duo would have the backing of the king himself. She just has to figure out a way to make it happen. Harry is probably dim enough to just go along with it, and she knows him well enough by now to know exactly what to say, which seeds to plant in his mind, and which excuses to use. However, sadly, they have tried the olive branch many times, never worked. The royal family is done with them. They didn't even invite them to trooping. And I don't believe they will try to go this route, have built their entire brand about the rejection of that life, cutting ribbons, and so on. She will never accept being second to Catherine. Also, William has lots to say about every decision and he'll never forgive his brother. Remember, he made allusions to William's kids, and by doing that, he crossed a line that closed the doors of the royal family forever. The best he could do is divorce her, and he'll be allowed a small allowance if he stays afar and shuts his mouth. One commenter said, I think Meghan being absent from the coronation and Harry's very brief and awkward appearance was a big sign 
that the British royal family is done with them no matter what. Everyone thought it was so odd that she didn't attend such a major event if she would have been unwanted. It's more exposure for her. She'd be on camera and her name would be in the press for weeks. There's no way she would have turned down that invitation, which means she wasn't invited. I think Harry was invited to keep up appearances or for protocol reasons only. As far as we know, he didn't even see or speak to his father. That's a huge snub to both of them. There's no repairing that relationship. And Harry and Meghan aren't capable of being apologetic or admitting wrongdoing anyway. Meghan will find her way in life. There will always be some other rich guy willing to marry her. But what the hell will Harry do? He seems pretty aimless in Cali, even with Meghan there to provide some sort of anchor. There's also the option of divorce, but by doing so, she'd be cutting herself off from the one thing that made her relevant. Yes, she would probably keep the Duchess title, and Archie and Lilibet will still have their prince and princess titles, but she can only legally get support from Hairless, not his family, and those titles hold no status in the U.S. She won't be entitled to half of an allowance. Under California law, she's only entitled to half of what they earn during the marriage. As you said, she can't get her hands on the inheritance. If she has primary custody, he'll have to pay up to 20% of his income in child support. California favors joint custody, so she may not even get that much. The bottom line, Charles doesn't owe her anything. The only money she's entitled to is half of Harry's earnings for the duration of their marriage and not his inheritance. Charles doesn't have to give her anything. And we all know that not only is Harry likely broke enough to not have a nickel to scratch his own ass with, but he also doesn't have one shred of a clue how to support himself, let alone two kids and a high maintenance ex. He has no marketable skills whatsoever, and that translates to very little or no long-term income. Plus, once the publicity from said divorce winds down, she'll have two kids with useless titles, no financial support, and no access to anyone with world-class status. Snagging a billionaire isn't going to happen, since we all know she has nothing to offer anyone who has that kind of money. She's not young enough or pretty enough, and she has a big mouth and no discretion. What do you think about Harry and Meghan's miserable situation at the moment? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.